Atorvastatin is one of the widely used medications that is popular under the brand Lipitor. One of its main purposes is to reduce the LDL cholesterol levels. It can also reduce the triglyceride levels. Even though atorvastatin reduces LDL cholesterol levels in blood, it is not directly acting on blood vessels. It is less absorbed into the body. However, it can show strong action. Food reduces its absorption. However, you can take this medication with food. In this video, we will discuss all such 15 important facts about this medication. How it reaches into your body. Atorvastatin has a low bioavailability of around 14%. That means when you take this medication, only 14% of this medication reaches into your body. This low bioavailability is because of its metabolism in the gastrointestinal mucosa and in the liver. This reduction in the availability of medication before reaching its target is called first pass metabolism. Atorvastatin has a high first pass metabolism, therefore a very small amount of medication reaches the systemic circulation. However, this amount is sufficient to produce a significant inhibition of the HMG-CoA enzyme. Food also reduces the absorption of atorvastatin. However, the total amount that reaches the systemic circulation is the same. Therefore, this medication can be taken either with or without food. Metabolism of atorvastatin. Atorvastatin is extensively metabolized in the liver. Few of the metabolites are active, and they can also produce a similar effect on the inhibition of the HMG-CoA enzyme. Therefore, active metabolites can also reduce your LDL cholesterol levels. Atorvastatin is metabolized by the cytochrome P450 system, and among these, CYP3A4 is one of the important enzymes that is responsible for the metabolism of atorvastatin. The levels of atorvastatin can be elevated by CYP3A4 inhibitors like erythromycin. This medication has a half-life of around 14 hours, but it can show the inhibitory action on HMG-CoA enzymes for up to 20 to 30 hours because of its active metabolites. How it works? Atorvastatin helps reduce levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood. However, it is not directly acting on the blood, and its main target is the liver. The liver is one of the important sources for synthesizing the cholesterol. Cholesterol can be synthesized through one of the pathways called the mevalinate pathway. This pathway is highly controlled by one of the enzymes called HMG-CoA reductase. This enzyme converts HMG-CoA to mevalinate, which is then converted into cholesterol in the liver. Atorvastatin is selectively, as well as competitively blocking this HMG-CoA reductase enzyme thereby preventing the synthesis of cholesterol in the liver. As your liver is not getting the cholesterol, it will try to take the cholesterol from the blood. For this purpose, it is equipped with a few receptors called LDL receptors. These receptors can take the LDL from the blood into the liver. This reduces the levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood, which reduces the risk of the formation of plaques in the blood vessels as well as reduces cardiovascular complications. How to take this medication? You can get the atorvastatin tablets in different strengths, starting from 10 mg to 80 mg. For treatment of hyperlipidemia, this medication can be given to you at an initial dose of 10 to 20 mg per day. You have to take this medication only once daily. You can take it any time of the day. However, it is always better to maintain the same time on each day for a smooth therapeutic response. You can take this medication either with or without food. However, when you are using oral suspension, you should always take it on an empty stomach. When you require the reduction of LDL cholesterol greater than 45%, you may be given a dose of 40 mg per day. The maximum dose is 80 mg. Beyond the 80 mg, you should not use this medication. While you are going to increase the dose, few side effects, particularly on the muscle, may be increased. So it's always better to stick to the lowest dose possible, and higher doses should be used whenever you need more reduction in LDL cholesterol levels. It can be used either alone or in combination with other drugs. Where is it used? Atorvastatin is given to you to reduce raised LDL cholesterol levels. When LDL levels are elevated, they may increase the risk of plaque formation in the blood vessels that reduces blood flow. Atorvastatin reduces this risk by reducing levels of LDL cholesterol. You may also be given atorvastatin to prevent cardiovascular diseases. In people with myocardial infarction, stroke, angina, and coronary heart disease, it can be given. 
This medication can reduce the revascularization procedures, as well as hospitalization needs, for patients with congestive heart failure. Myopathy. Atorvastatin can produce a condition in your muscle called myopathy. This condition may result in a few symptoms like muscle pain, tenderness, and muscle weakness. It can also cause muscle spasms, and muscles are easily fatigued. Any damage to the muscle can be identified by the levels of creatine kinase. With the use of atorvastatin, the creatine kinase levels may be elevated. In a few people, it may be elevated to 10 times, which indicates significant damage to the muscle. The myopathy can be increased by a few factors. In the elders with age above 65 years, the risk of myopathy is more pronounced. If you have uncontrolled hypothyroidism or renal impairment, the risk of myopathy may be elevated. If you're using a higher dose of atorvastatin, you may have more chance of developing myopathy. Rhabdomyolysis. Another serious condition is the rhabdomyolysis that can be produced with atorvastatin. It results in the breakdown of the muscle tissue and release of contents into the bloodstream, resulting in the muscle weakness, muscle stiffness, pain, and tenderness, as well as dark-colored urine and decreased urine output. It can also result in the fatigue and joint pain in the people. Since it is a serious condition, if you observe any such symptoms, immediate use of atorvastatin should be discontinued. Use in renal impairment. This medication is not excreted in the urine. Instead, it is secreted into the bile. Therefore, in people with any renal impairment, the levels of atorvastatin are not affected. Therefore, dosage adjustment is not required. However, renal impairment may increase the risk of myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. Side effects. You may have a few gastrointestinal side effects like diarrhea, dyspepsia, and nausea. This medication can produce some muscle pains as well as joint pains. You may also have urinary tract infections. Nasopharyngitis and insomnia can also be observed. Use with fibrates. The risk of myopathy can also be elevated by the use of other medications that are co-administered with atorvastatin. Fibrates are used to control raised triglyceride levels. They can also reduce cholesterol to a smaller extent. These fibrates can also produce the myopathy. Therefore, if you combine atorvastatin with fibrates, the risk of myopathy is more elevated. When to avoid. In the people with acute liver disease, use of atorvastatin may further impair the activity. It also elevates serum transaminase levels. Therefore, in such people, atorvastatin is contraindicated. Atorvastatin also reduces a few other biologically important compounds that are derived from the cholesterol. Therefore, if it is given to pregnant women, it can affect the fetal growth. It can also produce some fetal damage. That's why in the pregnant woman, this medication is contraindicated. The risk of myopathy may be increased with fibrates and lipid-modifying doses of niacin. With strong CYP3A4 inhibitors like clarithromycin and azole antifungals like itraconazole, high dose of atorvastatin should be avoided. Cyclosporin can reduce the metabolism of atorvastatin by reducing its transport into the liver. This increases the risk of myopathy. Therefore, when you take the atorvastatin, cyclosporin should be avoided. Use of antiviral agents can increase the levels of atorvastatin. With few of these antivirals, atorvastatin should be avoided. However, with few other antivirals, the dose of atorvastatin may be reduced. Effect on liver. You may observe an increase in the liver enzyme levels with the use of atorvastatin. Particularly, the transaminase levels may be elevated by three times with this medication. In the case of hepatic impairment, particularly the people with chronic alcohol liver disease, the plasma concentrations may be increased due to the reduced metabolism of atorvastatin. The plasma concentration may be increased by four times in the mild conditions. However, it may also be increased up to 16 times in moderate conditions. In people with acute liver failure, use of atorvastatin is contraindicated. Grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice contains furanocumarins. They're going to inhibit the CYP3A4 enzyme. If you're going to take large amounts of grapefruit juice, it can inhibit the metabolism of atorvastatin. This results in its elevated levels in the plasma, leading to significant effects on myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. Therefore, never consume the grapefruit juice above 1.2 liters per day when you're taking atorvastatin. When to stop this medication? Sometimes you need to stop the use of atorvastatin temporarily to avoid any risk of myopathy or rhabdomyolysis. For example, when you're going for surgery, 
You may avoid this medication temporarily if any risk is pronounced for developing rhabdomyolysis. In people who may develop renal failure after surgery, this medication may be temporarily withdrawn. However, when your creatinine kinase levels are excessively elevated, you may develop the symptoms of myopathy. Then you should discontinue this medication. Use with other medications. Macrolide antibiotics can also produce increased risk of myopathy when they are combined with atorvastatin. CYP3A4 inhibitors can reduce the metabolism of atorvastatin, which increases its levels in the body. Due to the increased levels of atorvastatin, it may increase the risk of myopathy. When you're taking the antiviral agents, particularly protease inhibitors for the treatment of HIV, few of them are contraindicated along with atorvastatin. With few other medications, atorvastatin needs dosage reduction. These are the essential things that you should know before taking atorvastatin. That's all about this week's story. Thanks for watching this video. And if you find any interesting facts on this medication, please share them in the comment box below. Please do subscribe and hit the like button. I will come with another interesting video in the next week. Until then, have a nice time, take care, and goodbye.